the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. You know, that, that was a sin and, and you were unholy and you couldn't do that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And 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 they put things on on Christians that had nothing to do with being a Christian. A Christian. No. You it know, happened. and and they were trying to take the Holy Spirit's position yeah. in guiding and yeah. teaching and instructing and forming and yeah. norming. Yeah. Performing, and 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 in doing that, they put this stigma on. Man, I don't want to be no Christian. You can't do nothing. You can't have no fun when you're a Christian. Exactly. But we put that I'm one. here to tell you that that is the complete opposite of what this life is about. Because God made each and every person a certain way, and if you weren't supposed to experience things, the good things of this life, then, you know, why, why, <laughs> why was Jesus blessing everybody? Why was he healing everyone who was oppressed of the devil? Why was he feeding everybody who yeah. was hungry? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Well, I think, you know, I want to, that's a good point you brought up is that we sit there and equate that freedom or fun Let's say with uh, for guys, it's talking about chasing girls. That's just yeah. But I always don't look at the fact is that how, and you remember it too, how we want to think it's fun to chase a girl, but we don't want nobody to chase our girl. Yeah. Uh, or or the, the the cheating that goes along, or uh, the getting over on somebody. If if, if it's all right, that is you. That we get over on, right? It's yeah, but that's the ways of man. You yeah. know, you never look at at the consequences of things. You just want the pleasure of the thing. Exactly. That's and that's the same thing with this life. You want the pleasures of this life, but not the consequences of this life. And, the and then at the end, when it's all said and done, when the consequences are at at at, at the forefront and and in the mind, then you start thinking about eternity. Then you start thinking about the well, you know, the penalty, the cost yeah. of what you did. A lot of people on their deathbed, first thing they do is cry out to yeah. God. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When, when, when here, they're, they're no different than, than the, the priests in Malachi. They yeah. want to give unclean animals, spotted animals, you know, everything that was not what God wanted. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was all about, about what they want. They wanted the best parts of the animal, the best parts of the offering, yeah. <laughs> and give God what's left. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. God's like, well, that's how you're robbing me. You're robbing me by giving me the leftovers, <laughs> the leftovers. Right. And so I think that's why God says he wants a living sacrifice. A living sacrifice. But in the same you don't time want you all broken down and, and, and can't, can't function you know, at the end of your life where, where, where only people at the end of their life can relate to your experiences. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Exactly, exactly. Yeah, and so what I'm saying, it's like, even though I'm saying let's the, go in the club, and I'm not putting there, I'm not going to the club, that's okay. What I'm saying is, outside of Christ, you still got the shooting going on in the club. You got the uh, people. And I, you see what I'm saying is, that you when you talk about having fun, not you, I ain't talking about you, but talking about people talking about fun, they don't look at none of the consequences that, that also is involved in this this world outside of Christ. Yeah. yeah. That it's, it's it's oh man, it's that's why I think when you're talking about here the suffering and the rejection, that's part of life. But God is saying is I'm telling you, if you come to me, I'm not rejecting you, and I'm not gonna leave you. I'm not going to abandon you. But if you go in this world on your own, you're going to find out that the world will abandon you, whether you like it or not. Yeah. Right? I think we just got to, I'm just, I had to, just to, I took off of the trail here, is we need to be able to show people the benefits of being in Christ. 
But yeah. I, I guess sometimes it's by showing, okay, you out of Christ, what are your benefits? People sit there talking about having fun, but when you become a crackhead, it's no longer fun. But it was fun when you first started it, right? It you it's fun to drop out of school until you can't get a job. Until you have to sit there and hustle, you know, dealing with drugs. You know, there's there's a lot of there's, there's, there's a lot of consequences we don't see when we want this short time pleasure. In your sports analogy, our sports analogy, our wow world is to show people this 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 uh there's some growth that has to go through getting the things that you want. If you want to be a football player, you want to be an airman, you want to be a scientist or chemist, all that requires effort. Yeah. It's just well, like even even the negative things of this world requires effort. Yeah. You know, to live a, a, a life in the streets, you have to learn. Yeah the ways of the street you have to have street smarts yeah. you got to learn what to say you got to learn the jargon you got to learn what what areas you can go in and what areas you can't go in you have to learn how to maneuver in these yeah. different lifestyles yeah because you got to learn what's what's cool to them and you got to learn what's not you know, you got to dress a certain way, you got to look a certain way, you got to act a certain way, and all that requires learning mm -hmm. and doing, you know, and then you still, if if you say you don't want to live a criminal life, still living outside of uh, Christ, there's still things that you still have to learn to exist in that world. Right, and you constantly, and there's always a constant trying somebody you gotta protect what you got because always somebody trying to take it yeah in this world so that's why i think it's so so when he said what would a man give in exchange for his soul is that they honest they don't understand that it's not a freebie either way yeah one one has eternal connection where the other one has eternal death to it you know i even had one person there i don't know you heard somebody say well what i'm gonna do in heaven and I always, and I always, I said, well, "What are you gonna do in hell?" <laughs> what do you think? Some people. Think, yeah. you know, well, going? I can tell you what you're gonna do in hell. <laughs> it's gonna be gnashing the teeth. There ain't gonna be no partying. Yeah. You know, and, and, and somebody was talking. I said, "Well, it's gonna be boring." And, so, and you know, I always ask, "Would well, you tell me what mean? What you mean boring? Explain to me boring. What's what's boring? What's not boring? Where it's not." In hell, what what do you think is going to happen? And then I'm, you almost like, what do you say here? <laughs> when you leave this world, you either go to hell or the lake of fire, or you go with Christ and be in Lord. And they they said they said, well, what do I do? What's going to happen in there? Well, you know, that's a whole new ball game by itself. I've never been there, so I can't tell you what what is going to what kind of life that's going to be. But all I know is that I don't want this other life. It got to be better than, you know, damnation and destruction, you know, torment and weeping the national teeth. We have to sit there and understand that. But I think in this world, I think they do the same thing, though, brother, as it is. I think, like you said, the, the, we gave it, we give a perception of Christianity, which perceive as being not living. You know, what? matter of fact, when we talk about the uh, traditions of man, these, these little rules and stuff, we give the perception to the world that that's not living. That's not as boring. Yeah, that's yeah, boring. it's 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 a part of 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 how we teach. It's a part of how 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 oh, how we used to be. You know, we used to be all holier than thou and 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 pompous and and you know uh we did it just looking down upon those who we just resembled <laughs> yeah. Yeah. you know and um we we, we take it with we say oh he can't laugh no more he can't joke no more yeah 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 uh, golly man we did it not we personally but 
the, it, and it, then there's there's yeah. there's another another side to that coin all obviously you know then there's the 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 part where we try to incorporate the world okay into into the church you know which is a whole nother other it's, it's an extreme in the opposite direction you know uh trying trying to appeal to uh -huh. folks yeah. we trying to appeal to this world instead of letting god be the appeal letting jesus christ be the appeal letting the holy spirit draw on these people we're trying to to draw these people we're trying to use earthly things to 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 draw in the youth when all along the only draw you need is christ yes that's, that's the love of god everybody yes. wants love in other words fun does not mean you know take be responsible it's what we need to be able to make sure people understand it does not mean not being responsible i guess people consider fun is not being irresponsible but the consequences come along with it so so with with the closing of that let me let's finish this one piece I did have going back to the scripture. You you finish the piece out on what it, what do the person give exchange of the soul? I, I want to I want to throw something else. I this I don't know if we want to read this. This one seemed to be a, a jump into something else. Uh, but let's try it anyway. Thirty eight, and then I got, that's the end of that 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 group of slide that particular verse anyway. Because I got another one afterward. Well. You want to comment on 38? Or sure, 38? We, we, can, we, let's, we can read it. Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. Yeah. See, this is another tactic that the enemy uses that you know, people are going to look down on you for lifting up the name of, 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 of God and Jesus Christ for trying yeah. to live this, this lifestyle, yeah, you and know? And so the, in, and in that there is a shame of yeah. trying to proclaim it because you're going to, you're going to, you're worried about how you look and, and, and how they look at you when right. it has nothing to do with you. Right. But you know, as it's in the house, Christ is explaining how this world is. Yeah. When we sit there, see that, look, that adulterous. See, uh, some people quite having sex with a lot of people is fun until it's done to them. Yeah. We see it. I mean, you all the way the reality TV shows, because this could be, you could be adulterous, could be fornicator, right? You know, and, and somebody, even with fornication, right? Some people say, well, that's fun. Until it's somebody that they attach themselves to, who still who still give their body to somebody else. Now yeah. it's no longer fun, and that's what he's trying to say. He's saying that in this world, there's an adulterous and sinful generation. There's positive this life that is sinful and adulterous. And most people will agree that adulterous is something they don't want to be involved with. You know what I mean? Excuse me. Is that that's not true, right? They want to they want to do it, but they don't want it done to them. And when they talk about a sinful generation, everything is cool until it's done to you. But isn't that what yeah. it's designed to do? It's it's it is that way. It's that way in, in every aspect of this world. You know, you can have somebody who is a murderer and has joy in it. But when somebody in their family or someone they love is murdered, they're going to feel exactly the way that that person feels and can't believe that it happened and is mad at the person that does it, but doesn't really realize that he is that same individual. Yes. And the same thing that he wants to do to the person that did it to him how many souls out there want to want him to be yeah we don't know. Uh, uh uh him to suffer right. their desires for right. for for murder and the same thing for for adultery you uh -huh. know uh uh and and thieves yeah. 
and and yeah, you know, people who 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 practice lying and deceitfulness and and everything else. When it's done to them, then this it's a whole problem. Then it's a whole problem. Yeah, it's almost look, look, and it's almost people is give and it shall be given, and you don't want. Oh man, that's why the person behind it, but as give yeah. and it shall be given to you. Yeah, and, and it, that applies any form, isn't it? Whatever you plant is what you're going to get. If you plant lying, somebody's going to lie on you. If you yeah. plant stealing, somebody's going to steal from you. If you plant adultery, somebody's going to commit adultery on you. And we know it happened. What's the old song? Who's making love with my old lady while I'm out making love? Because yeah. that's what happens, doesn't it? It, it's, 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 the, oh man, that's a subject by itself, ain't it? The, the fact is, in this adulterous and sinful generation, we don't understand is planting seeds and you get a harvest. If you evil to people, somebody eventually will be evil to you. That's where the gang, you know, they're killing in like Macon or Chicago. You know, all these, these kids doing this killing and stuff. It, it's just a cycle. Mm -hmm. It's just a cycle. If you don't do homework, you, you eventually don't graduate. It's a cycle. It's what you, yeah. life is what you put into. And if you put in, I don't want to do nothing, that's what you're going to have is nothing. Yeah. Oh, man. Golly. Yeah. Look, until until Christ return, sowing and reaping is not going to cease. It's not going to cease. <laughs> oh, sowing and reaping. Yes. Day and night. Oh, <laughs> oh man. You, you know, we, we don't, you know, I, I'm going to throw this at people listening. You, you, I think you agree with me. You know, we need to teach th from those perspectives so people can relate. You know, why I'm telling you to deny yourself? Because there's some things in you that you don't want to keep doing. And there's some harvest that comes about those things if you do those things. Right? Maybe yeah. do we do do we talk about that? Do we teach that? Do we you know this is this was on my heart this morning. And it kind of stems from this. Yeah. I was thinking about the testimonies. Oh. You remember when we used to have testimony service? <laughs> yeah, testimonies, yeah, yeah. You know, and then and, and, and the testimony service became theater almost. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and 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 then it, it it started out with a ritual that made no sense. Uh, even though the Bible said give honor to those, you know, where honors do, I mean. You know, I want to give it honor to God as the head of my life, and the first lady, and the pastor, and, and the deacons, and the elders, and, and all the saints, and, and everyone, everyone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and then you go in to tell a story that really isn't a testimony. And it just, people just wanted to be a part of the theater. I, I should say. Yes, sir. And and because a testimony is all it is is where you were uh -huh. and how you believe and how God got you through it. Come on now. Yes, sir. That's the testimony. Yeah. The testimony is basically showing how your faith in God yeah. got you through a situation, a circumstance, uh -huh. you know, or, or an event that was detrimental to your life. Yes. That is a testimony. Right. A testimony, a testament, uh, a which testament. is basically the word of God. It's yes. just a continuation of the Bible. Yes, testimony. Sir. Yes, sir. Those are testimonies of how God did what he did and how God is going to do what he's going to do. Yes. If you, if you believe. If you believe. So 
this is this is the thing and and it was on my mind you know we've gotten away mm -hmm. from testimonies okay which is from speaking those things that god has done in our lives right we become ashamed yeah. just like the scripture said you know if you deny me uh -huh. then you know i'll deny you right so yeah. it's 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 gotten to the point to where we start worrying about what people are going to think yes and and so we won't speak those things that god has brought us from no. because we're still tied to those things and there is yes. still an embarrassment yes yeah of it there is a shame that is tied to it and those are only works of the devil but true testimony always <laughs> delivers somebody from the bondage that the enemy has because there's nothing like hearing <laughs> a testament about how somebody experienced exactly what you went through hey, hey, look, look. in the scriptures that you got and how it brought you through it hey hey y'all listen listen <laughs> i want to so that because you made me think about it hey this is another way the enemy got got that stuff Remember, I, I don't know about you, but uh, Pastor Dollar did it in, in, in service one time. <laughs> he said, he, he used it as a joke. He said, you know, you went and did your testimony. His brother, I would give you an example. You the testimony. You the testimony. Your testimony was how you were able to uh, get away from that woman that was trying to tempt you to do something, right? And you, you say, praise God, he delivered me. But then you mm -hmm. drive it home. You drive it home. <laughs> With your wife, <laughs> and your wife said, "I heard you get, I heard you chat about it, <laughs> but but I want to talk about how you were, who you were talking to." Yeah, in other words, some people take take the testimonies that you experience <laughs> present, not way back. So you go way back, and so those are easy testimonies. Mm -hmm. But we're talking about testimonies from that last Sunday to this Sunday, right? Mm -hmm. example. And and how, like if you have a spouse, it depends on what type of testimony you're talking about, right? If you gave a testimony of overcoming a a a uh, a potential adulterous situation, the wife or the husband, you think how do how would they read the testimony? Did they, they don't see the rest of the rest of the congregation will look at it as praise God, he overcame it. He walked away from it. He, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But that spouse though, what the spouse gonna say? What do you think? Well, you know, the truth <laughs> is the truth. <laughs> yeah, but and the know. truth will make you free. <laughs> so the, the thing is, no, but seriously, the thing is, just tell the truth. Because if you did not engage, yes, then obviously there's something that prevented you from that, and that spouse has to be a part of that. Yes, yes. I didn't want to sin against you. Come on now. Okay. Now there is temptation. Yes, there was. That's just life. That's just how this world is. So if your spouse comes at you. Don't try and make nothing up. Don't hold back and not even speak on it. Just speak the truth for what the truth. Don't be embarrassed about it. Just speak it the way it is, the way it happened, the way and the results of it. Yeah. And, and the glory shall be revealed in thereof. And Satan can never bring that up in your life or use it as a weapon to wedge between that union yeah and because yeah. the moment you 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 don't tell the truth yes, is sir. the moment that oneness becomes twain you know and i think the problem came in in some of those scenarios that i would have thought was that wife should have heard that testimony 
well before you did in front of the congregation? Well, yes and no. Okay. You know, if the Holy Spirit brought it on your mind to tell them, then I, I would say, tell them. Obviously, it meant to come it. out <laughs> the way it came out. Know you know, and, and, and if that's when you tell it, that's when you tell it. Mm -hmm. um, and then I can I can see the other part. You know, I'm, I'm embarrassed because I didn't even know no, about all these people, all yeah. these people looking at me thinking, you know, you know what, what's going on. But but when you look at it. At its rawness. Yeah. Why are you embarrassed? Yeah, I know. I, I think the problem is it didn't, didn't also they get offended. Or you get mad at the person who may have made that. You know what the situation is, right? Let's say it was a husband wife situation. Uh, the woman now not only gets mad about this first time I'm hearing it, and you tell everybody else about it, but now I'm mad about that woman that probably could be sitting in the congregation too. You know? Could be. But the fact is, Satan uses everybody. I know. It, we, but I think that's one of those reasons when people sit there and say they didn't give a testimony. But they stopped yeah. it. Because some people didn't take it for a victory. And he did it as a joke, right? He, yeah, yeah. But 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 in all instances, <laughs> the truth will make you free. It's a, it's Se seriously, true. if if you just be open and explain and tell the truth, yeah. and then you get that person to tell their truth, yeah, then there is nothing. There, there is there is nothing to harbor. Yeah. Because if she says, okay, well, I'm upset with this person because this person disrespected me by yeah. coming to it, you know, to you. Yeah. Yeah. And then you just let them know. Yeah. Well, you still have to love that person because that person was being used yeah. by, the, by the enemy to try and mess us up. But yeah. look at God. Exactly. You know, it's funny, but I agree with you. I totally agree with you. It's just how he made the joke because he said that's what some of the yeah. And the woman is like, he's driving home, right? He said, I heard that was a tip. I heard you though. But I heard you. You know, it's like yeah. I'm I meant for you to hear me. No, no, I heard you. Yeah. And I don't like what happened. Yeah. I understand that, but like you you see what I'm saying, you're saying it from a perspective of Hey, a victory. And yeah. he joked about it. We all, I mean, the whole congregation was laughing. Okay. But, but, but this is the thing, you know, if you're honest, completely honest about the things that you deal with, then they can't be used against you. And be. there's nobody, I don't think, that's wrapped up in this flesh can say that they weren't attracted to somebody yep. that's mm -hmm. outside of their marriage, that that somebody that they had thoughts about, you know, doing things to somebody that they weren't married to. Mm -hmm. That's just that's the that's that's like saying Satan don't exist. Yeah, yeah. That's like saying that this flesh has no sin in it. Come on. So so you can act. <laughs> yeah. You can act holy. Come on now. You can act like like you all righteous. You you can but the but but the Bible says <laughs> God says and, and the Bible that that's says, not so. Right. And the Bible said we overcome we overcome the by the blood of the Lamb by the word of our testimony. Yeah. But if you that. have to overcome, that means you have to be tempted. Yeah, I know. You know what? That's funny. But so you can't you you can't have one without the other. So, and I thank God I overcame because this 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 is scripture. Yeah. And so, you know, to get to get to that understanding, sure. how 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 more of a one can you be? Yeah. Because the two become one. Yes, sir. How much more are you complete in your oneness? Being honest, yeah. By being completely honest. Yeah. But that's yeah. interesting, isn't it? I agree with you. I totally agree with you. But I guess you can see that.